Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Shani, and I'm back with another video. Today, I want to review a Nokia I picked up a month ago. It's called the Nokia One. So let's get started. This phone has a 4.5 inches display with one gigabyte of RAM, eight gig of storage. That is internal storage. You can expand with a memory card if you want. It has um, five megapixel front uh, back camera and the front facing camera is two megapixel you can also change the back covers if you want you just you know just pop this out like this and then change the battery is removable you know like old phones back in the day so you can actually change a battery if or you can have a spare so this is how it looks like it doesn't have a sim tray you just you know insert your sim it's, it's, it's nano sim but you just insert it like you know back in the days this phone actually reminds me of 2011 or 2010 it doesn't look like 2018 phone but it's 2018 it runs on android 8.1 oreo the go edition so my impression so far about this phone is that it's durable you know as Nokia you expect it to be durable so it's durable it, I have dropped it a couple of times you can see a ding here but I don't have cracks on it apart from that um, apart from that the software or the memory on this is actually very small for 2018 it keeps crashing I have only um, whatsapp and a couple of um, apps on it and it's already telling me I'm out of memory you know uh, out of the 8 gig the software um, the Android software alone has taken about 4, four gig or so so you'll be left with 4 gig and that is not enough for 2008 so this phone is just a low end you know about uh, like the list of phones you buy if you want to just put your sim card in and you know use it for you know like calls that's okay but if you want to run software uh, sorry and uh, apps on it i don't think this would be a, this would be the right choice because the phone is not running great it keep crashing on me if you're watching youtube or something it could it, it will just crash on you or uh, even um if you use on Facebook, I'm not using Facebook Lite. I'm using the the the, this the the big version of Facebook, and it keeps crashing. The interface or the um, yeah the interface on the phone is good, is up to date, but man, the storage or the space on this phone is not just a deal. It's not a good deal at all. So if you're out there looking for a phone to buy. I will urge you save up some money and buy other Nokia phones like you know, the Nokia 7 or something there's even 8 right now so you could pick something like that but this don't go in for the cheap one because you're gonna be disappointed in Nokia this is not running great at all for 2018 it's very cheap actually very cheap but man it's, it's gonna be crashing on you all the time so what else can I say? Oh, it also has a radio, which is a good thing. But apart from that, nothing is good on it. Most of the apps come pre-installed. So you you have apps that you cannot delete, like the um, the file go, the map go, whatever go. It's, it's, it's um, Android go version of, you know, Google Maps and, you know, files, file manager and all that. You cannot uninstall that. You just have to have it on the phone what else i think that's it the phone is not a great phone uh, all in all it's not a great phone if you want to buy a phone just buy a bigger one because this actually is not working for me within by the end of the month i will be picking up a new phone because i cannot use this phone so if you like my video give it a thumbs up just give it a thumbs up and comment you can also share because i'm not i'm not a phone you know nerd or something i just i just pick phones then i use them then i give my honest review if there's something i can do about the storage 
let me know in the comment below the comment section all right peace out subscribe to my channel